A proper road race and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today, though, ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1-mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than inches from the race-ending barriers. And as the drivers start thinking about getting a good start and how on earth to get through Sandovot in one piece, I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, if we might be seeing a safety car or two today. Well, you wouldn't exactly bet against it, would you? Statistically, it is pretty common, of course. About 80% of all Monaco Grand Prix will have at least one safety car. And that's despite the incredible work of the marshals around here, who you'll often see lifting cars out of the way just under the yellow flag conditions. The teams will always plan for the worst case scenario though, and they'll be making sure various caution periods are built into their strategy models for the race. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Joker lines up on pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Perez, Devon Butler and Bottas, Raikkonen, Sainz, Russell and Nico Hülkenberg, Magnussen, Weber, Roman Grosjean, and Norris, Leclerc, Stroll, Daniel Kvyat, and Max Verstappen. Hamilton and Alexander Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. This is your final lap, or final lap of the race. You're dropping a second a lap to the car behind, one second. Excellent win from Ferrari. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.
Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Joker takes over the lead at the Drivers' Championship. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? It's an interesting one today. On balance, I think I have to call out Alexander Albon, a really solid drive from him today, and one that he and his team should be proud of. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.